we're on the island of um, Brush. Yeah. And we're not far away from Bowl. Yeah. Okay, the port of Bowl, which has the Golden Horn, which is which is something that's quite famous, okay? Because it's shape and so forth. But it's famous because it also changes shape throughout the Bullshit. season. Bullshit! Throughout the season, it actually changes shape. You really? See? Straight there, it's curved there, and it curves. That's interesting. That so is very it's, interesting. It's, it actually shapes, yeah, it's, it's one of those little natural phenomena. Well. <laughs> So I'm sitting at the front of the uh, boat as we uh, commute to the next little island. Uh, usually two to three hours is, is pretty standard in a day to move from island to island. But it is quite rough out here today. There is a lot of cloud cover. It's quite, uh, you know, overcast and cloudy weather. And uh, one thing we've noticed is these little willy willies, you know, or little mini tornadoes that are sort of popping out of the sky onto the, onto the sea. And when I came up here to film them, the, uh, the captain was a little bit concerned about these things. He said to me, he does not like to see them at all on the ocean. And he said, you know, they, they have the capability of ripping all these bikes off the, off the top deck. Yeah, it's nice to see, uh, it's nice to see on a documentary film and on the Google, if you want to see how it looks like. But when you see it near the boat, Luckily they're not near the boat though, you see them near the boat. I prefer not to see them, I we'll just put it away. <laughs> Have you ever had one hit the boat? No. Have you ever heard of one hitting the boat? Yes. And what happened? It was much smaller boat than this one. Yeah. And it was much, uh, it was apparently a really strong one. Yeah. It can take everything from the boat up. Really? Yeah. And I... Uh, the captain uh, told me about the story when it was wooden boat yeah. and uh, it flipped it. It flipped the boat? Yeah, but it was a much smaller boat. Really? Yeah. Alright, we've come up on port now, um, on the uh, little port of Viz. But uh, this island is, has, has a rich history in during World War II. It was actually, this is one of the last islands to open up to the public. Uh, because it uh, was a military base and there's a, a very rich military history. They've actually got submarine tunnels. What is going on? Well, we're, we're going to head to the uh, submarine tunnels, the yeah. famous tunnels here where uh, the uh, locals um, hid their submarines from the Germans. Um, and it's, it's stunning. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like something straight out of uh, James Bond 007 stuff, honestly. Yeah, right. Um, big concrete tunnels. Um, you'll see. Back left. We can see the uh, submarine tunnels, man. This is impressive. This is impressive. Hey, this is something else. Isn't it? And you know what's even more special about this island and, and this particular tunnel is that they spent obviously quite a considerable time building this. It was never used. It was never used? It was never used. What they, they forgot to work out was the tidal change here and the submarines bottomed out. So I think they got in some very small ones once, but it was obviously designed for much, much more. But uh, the small ones could only come in and out and that was it because of the, the, the yeah, change in the tunnel. Yeah, because it's not very deep. Yeah. 
and so uh, and it never actually got used at all. The funny thing is you can actually see the bottom and uh, it doesn't look, the first thing I thought when I walked in here was it doesn't look very deep. So you could, you could definitely understand why massive tunnel to fit a big submarine, but depth wise, you, you just not, it's not gonna happen. So this is, uh, this is pretty incredible. This is one of the most impressive things I've seen. Over here, what, what they did is they draped all the camouflage and um, cloth and they, you know, put twigs and all that sort of stuff over it. Yeah. So from the air, yeah. you, you simply couldn't see the entrance. And then when they wanted to obviously exit uh, with one of the subs, they, they could, they just tore it away and, and opened up and shot out. But I've only seen one photo uh, on one of the tours here where a couple of small ones were in and that was it. That was never used to its potential at all, yeah. which is just even more phenomenal. Yeah. Once you start walking down into it, it really, like I wish we had torches. It's just, it's just a, a But mate, not much is gonna get through here. All right, so we have uh, sailed for about an hour and a half to the, uh, to the town of Havar, which apparently is the Monaco of uh, Croatia. But the boys are getting the bikes off the front of the ship now. So one of them hands a bike to the guy on this next deck and then he hands it to the guy below. So today we're cycling from Hava and we're going up a 10 kilometer climb and then we're going down into Stalygrad which is uh, it's about a 20 kilometer it's basically 10 k's up and then 10 k's down into Stalygrad and that's where we're staying for the night. But uh, yeah, today is probably the biggest climb out of the lot. That's what everyone's talking about, is how hard this climb's gonna be. It's a 10K climb, but on heavy mountain bikes, it's a little bit harder. Jump, jump up into his arms. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're such a charmer. Yeah, I am. <laughs> It's my favorite track. Going with the What's going on? She's definitely going down all of a sudden. You guys haven't got pumps, have you? Pumps. You gotta wait for Anna. Eh? You gotta wait for Anna. Yeah. Old Dougie on his uh, e bike here was towing me up the mountain. Just uh, <laughs> I, didn't I was in his slipstream and I was hanging on for deal. It was a good workout, yeah. but he's uh, just got a puncher, so I'm going to leave him for dead. Yeah, thanks, mate. While Anna comes leave, up, leave him to the seagulls. And here comes South Africa. Yes, South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. Oh, how much do punches suck? Mate, it's rough. Got an e-bike, whiz by everyone. And, and now, now you're gonna... walking. And now, this is your now karma. Walking, eh? yeah. <laughs> Walk the talk. Come on. <laughs> Much to the amusement of everyone that's not on an e-bike. All right, we've arrived at the top in this quaint little town. It's very quiet, very old school. Uh, I'm not sure where it is yet, but uh, I'll put the, uh, the name of it down in the left there. But, uh, whoa. Man, that was a hard climb. Dougie had a puncher, so I'm just going to check this out and then I'm going to head back down. We well made... done, legends. We beat the person sitting on the couch. <laughs> that is uh, one fancy electric e-bike giant bike. <laughs> I've got a beer coming, so you save that for you. I'm having a beer. I'm doing it. We've been here for, what, I think two hours. I've had four beers. I just, just couldn't help myself. 
So I'm going down the descent, 10 kilometres down the descent, half steaming. But that's all right. So Dougie's trying to get all the girls to do a jump shot at the moment. Do it practice, do it practice. Oh, practice. Let me do practice now. Practice. Three. <laughs> no. no. Hey, hey, so come on. That is. I'm going to go one, two, three. Bend your legs, people. Come on, come on. Right. Are you ready? Timing, timing. On the count of three. Beat the staffers. One, two, three. Oh. So bend down, okay, bend down, three. and then on three, jump. Okay. One, two, jump. <laughs> Girls, you have to get off the ground. Okay. <laughs> the secret is to actually physically leave the ground. Okay, bend the knees. Okay, we ready? Three, two, one, now. All right, we're going to Seriously, you could, uh, if you were a proper road cyclist, this little island would be a fantastic havar over to, what's the name of Stalygrad? Stalygrad. Stalygrad. Awesome ride. So if you wanted to come and do some training on your proper road bike, I've seen a few roadies out here. Uh, it'd be good climbing. It's about a 10k climb, 10k descent, but you could do a few repeats. That'd be sweet. <laughs> there, there it is, the Alyssa, the Almissa. All right, we made it back to uh, to the Almissa, but uh, that was a that was a really nice ride. Just a just basically up and then down with lunch in the middle and beers. So uh, you can see it's pretty. This riding is pretty relaxed. It's a pretty relaxed sort of uh, adventure, and uh, mate, we had so much fun. Up the top there having dinner and then just a good laugh on the on the climb on the descent down but i'm going to go get an ice cream i'm going to put all my shit inside and then i'm just going to go grab the bike and go get some ice cream <laughs> 